An estimated 24 million people are expected to take cruises this year. One report showed more than a quarter of them are age 60 or older, and more than one-fifth are retired. For many of those passenger ships are like a second home. But for one woman, the ocean liner is her only home. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg met her while covering another story on board. Peter, good morning. Uh, good morning, Nora. You know, part of the reason cruises are so popular for retirees is because so much is taken care of for them. The cooking, the cleaning, the entertainment, all the activities. But when the cruise is over, almost all the passengers return home to their regular lives. But Lee Wachstetter showed us how she found a way to travel the world without ever leaving home. Did you miss me? I did. You could say 88-year-old Lee Wachstetter has earned her sea legs. But how often are you talking to the family at home? Oh, I talk to them every day. Okay. I'll talk to him twice a day if it means I don't have to be there. Aboard the Crystal Serenity, she's known simply as Mama Lee, and she's been living there for the past eight years. I don't have to shop. I don't have to cook. I don't have to do anything. I do what I want, when I want, if I want. She and her late husband, Mason, took nearly 100 cruises together before he died in 1997. The last thing he ever said to me, this was the day before he died, don't you quit cruising. I started frequent cruising, but I got very, very tired of packing and unpacking. So I said, there's got to be a better way to do this. And the answer was, how about I don't leave at all? Uh-huh. Mama Lee sold her house in Florida, along with her car and most of her belongings, and never looked back. Everybody knows her, and she knows everybody. Berger Vorland is captain of the Crystal Serenity. She's a little bit of a diva in a good way. She gets along with her day and she makes herself busy and she has her things and her opinions and she's a wonderful person. At your age, there are a lot of people who would say, well, I'm gonna go to a retirement place. Oh, so. hell no. Really? Not me. Why do I do that? I'm now a great grandmother. And my grandchildren are having children, but I don't wanna be there every minute for that. I, I love babies but they grow up. <laughs> Mama Lee has now done more than 240 cruises around the world and visited hundreds of different ports. But where the ship is going? Irrelevant. For Mama Lee, these days, the ship is the destination. Everything has been there, done that. If I've been there and done that, I don't go off the ship. And I love it when everybody goes touring. I got the whole ship to myself with all the help. <laughs> you, got this, you got this figured out. Oh, absolutely and you don't really get off the ship anymore. What for? Cruise director Rick Spath considers himself part of her extended family at sea. That's Lee. She doesn't care where the ship goes. She loves to dance her way around the world. I dance every single day at 5.15, seven days a week. Did you ever sit back and think about what your life would be like if you weren't on the ship? Very boring. I think I live a fairy tale existence. It's, it's not a real life. I realize that not everybody does this, but they, a lot of people could. <laughs> I still think I do the same dance set with every dance. Yeah, you do, but that's okay. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. How much does it cost Lee Wachstetter to do the cruise? He estimated at about $175,000 a year. And by the way, since she goes on the cruise, wherever the ship goes, she's one of 1,000 passengers who spent $22,000. That's the other story we're covering. This ship is actually going to be the largest ship ever to attempt the Northwest Passage. They started sailing from Seward all the way north, going 500 miles north of the Arctic Circle, back to New York. It's a 32-day voyage. And to put this in perspective, when it was first done in 1903, it took them three years. Wow. Is, is there one place she will get off the ship? Yes, when the ship goes into dry dock, here's what happens. It only happens once every like six or seven years. Yeah. They literally pull up to the harbor, pull up to the dock. There's another ship there, and they walk her 50 feet, <laughs> and she goes on another ship. Where does she get her doctor's appointments and stuff like that? I mean, doesn't she? I, I mean, so far she's dancing. Yeah, it's great. She still is on the dancing crystal, every day on the Crystal Serenity. Yeah. Peter, thank you.